Hello, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to share with you what I pack in my husband's lunch for the week. I get a lot of questions on what does your husband eat since I share a lot of what I eat in a day because it is my channel, but I also share with you our grocery hauls and our dinners throughout the week as well. So you're in for a wonderful treat today as you're gonna see what I pack in my husband's lunch. Okay, for the first meal, I'm going to make a barbecue chickpea meatball, and I'm gonna put it with some of this basmati rice. We have quite a bit of rice on hand, and it's just a great, inexpensive way to bulk up any lunch, and it's easy to take with you. I'm actually going to make this rice in my pressure cooker, so I will get that started so it's kinda like set it and forget it, and then we'll get the meatballs going. Hello, hello, hello. I just wanted to quickly chat with you while I was getting this rice together. I just want to say thank you for being here. I love sharing on YouTube. I love sharing what works for us. And a lot of people will ask me to do specific videos, but honestly, I just show up week after week sharing what we do. And it, I hope at some point, someone along the way finds something I do helpful. And if not, it's entertaining. I never tell you guys how to eat. I don't tell you guys portions. I just share with you what works for us. And like I said, it hopes it will enlighten you, encourage you, or inspire you to try something new. So these meatballs were more like a mock chicken kind of a nugget kind of thing. They were so good. I made two pans of them and sent three meals for my husband for the week and I kept a few out as well. I also forgot to share with you the binder. You could use breadcrumbs, gluten-free breadcrumbs, panko, oatmeal. I use cornmeal. So good. I had a little bit of ginger too to kind of give it a kick. Really good with the barbecue sauce. I have made something similar to these as a, but they were more of a dense round meatball that I made on the stovetop. I can link that video down below, but I'll put the recipe for these in the description box. I know it bothers some people that I don't measure things, but I do put a recipe in the description box that will work just fine. I eyeball a lot of things because it's my kitchen, it's my house. And I know a lot of you cook like I do and you really enjoy <laughs> my dump and go recipes and then some people just do not. So this is like a really thick paste and if I would have had my air fryer in the house, I would have probably shaped these into more of a nugget and made them in the air fryer and then dumped them in the barbecue sauce um, when they were done cooking, probably cooked them at like 400 degrees for like six minutes four to six minutes each side in the air fryer so they're nice and crunchy, but the cornmeal is so good in them, so good. But instead, I decided to just kind of plop them out into little like, not even a meatball or a patty, they were just like a little spoonful, and they baked so nice in my oven. I ended up baking them at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. So they get a little crispy on the outside, and they're nice and kind of like chewy in the inside. They really reminded me of like a better version of a vegan chicken nugget. And I think I'm gonna play with this recipe a little bit and kind of perfect it. I even think refrigerating the dough, if you will, um, would kind of make it so you could shape it a little bit. Use a cookie cutter if you have kids and make like <laughs> really fun shapes. I don't know, this recipe is really good. Definitely awesome, you should try it. And then of course, I made five cups of rice. So we've been having rice a lot just because it's easy to eat cold, hot, you can make a lot of it. So I did put I would say about two and a half cups of rice if I were to guess, because these are big dishes and I'm using a, I think I'm using a half cup measure, but I'm like, it's like a heaping half cup. So I'd say about two cups of rice in each container and then some of those little nuggets and then some sesame seeds on top. My husband loved this meal. This is his only complaint because he's a sauce person and he's like, honestly, I just need more barbecue sauce, but he even... <laughs> shared some bites of his food with his coworkers, and they're like what is that that's really good and I had to share the recipe with them so that's kind of fun in general but this is definitely a must make I know sometimes it's hard to give lunch ideas that work for everyone but I know a lot of people take things on the go and this is one that's really convenient and easy and you can make ahead of time and if you need to you could freeze it it would freeze well and there you go. You could add a little bit of green if you want to. Let me know down below if your husband eats vegetables. Mine will eat vegetables if they're like fresh and ready, but he doesn't really love them in his lunch. But this would be really good, I think, with some veggies added. We got a Green Chef order in this week along with our grocery haul. So that is going to fill up two dinners for us, but I am going to make this linguine with basil pasta for my husband's lunch. 
You know, if you've been around my channel for a while, we love Green Chef. We usually, usually utilize them for quick convenience meals and of course for date nights because it fits for us into our lifestyle. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company with options for every lifestyle, keto, paleo, vegan, hello, Mediterranean, gluten-free, and so many more. They offer 24 weekly meal choices so you can find new favorites to keep your way of eating exciting and fresh. Green Chef is so helpful in saving you time because they meal plan, shop, and do most of your food prep every single week. They really do the work for you. We love Green Chef, like I said, because it's convenient, especially for my busy lifestyle. It's really nice on the weeks that we get Green Chef because when I come home and see that box at my front door, I get excited to cook. Instead of that feeling of like, oh, what are we going to make for dinner and being stressed out and tired, I just get so excited to be in my kitchen. And a lot of times I will actually send the meals with my husband for work because I know that he's really happy to see that in his lunchbox. And as someone who works a lot, my husband works a lot, I feel much better as a wife sending him a healthy, nutritious meal that I have made for him versus him swinging through the drive through And I can't thank Green Chef enough for keeping our palate always fancy and fun. They have so many amazing meals. You're going to find so many options that you will never, ever think of in a million years to make on your own. They've helped me be creative, think outside the box. They've helped me learn to like sauces and seasonings in a way I never thought I'd like before. The combinations of meals are absolutely incredible. This one I'm making here is a basil pasta meal with some kale, fennel, peas, red peppers. I mean, the flavors are phenomenal. They also have gluten-free options. Personally, I just get the vegan plant-based box. And if it does come with something for the week that is an option that I know my husband will like that's not gluten-free, I'll send that with him for lunch. And he's always so happy to see that in his lunchbox. So make sure you check out Green Chef. Go to greenchef.com. Use my code Running on plants 130 for $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. Go to greenchef.com for more details. But you guys, I know you love Green Chef. I get messages all the time on Instagram from people saying like it's the most convenient way to meal prep when they're really, really busy or going out of town or need to just order food when they have family coming. A lot of you have said that your spouses or partners are not plant-based or gluten-free, but having them try the vegan box with Green Chef. They've loved it and are like, wow, this is really delicious. I could eat this all the time. There's so many options. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And if you can find this one with the basil pasta, my husband loved it. He said it was fantastic. And when he reheated at work, a lot of people were like, what is that? I want a bite. So he ended up sharing a little bit of it at work as well, which that's okay. He can do that. Okay, here is a really quick lunch you can throw together Put in your husband's lunchbox, put in your lunchbox. You're gonna need tortillas, an avocado, some kind of sauce, whether it's a hummus, or this is like a dip I shared in my grocery haul. I am using some basil from my garden. It's looking a little sad because I picked it like two hours ago. <laughs> I, I kind of got carried away with that. And then I did make some pickled onions, which are so good and super easy. I just use cold water, three tablespoons of vinegar, a tablespoon of sugar, and then a little bit of salt, and I let them pickle for at least 24 hours. But a couple of these wraps will be delicious, and you could throw some chips or crackers in with it or some fruit, really easy. My husband loves them because like, you can hold them and take them on the go. So let's get these together and into the lunchbox really quickly. I send a lot of wraps with my husband, more for a snack, something light that he could have in between like lunch and dinner, or if he just needs a little bit extra that day. I don't share what we do on the internet for work because I do like my privacy a little bit, but I know everybody's work is different, right? So some people have office jobs, some people are on their feet, some people are nurses. And what I have found, if I send avocado with him, I have to make it into a sauce because otherwise the avocado just like slips out of the wrap and into the dish. And this is also something that I would normally make in the morning and have in the fridge. Sometimes if I'm gonna make them ahead, I don't put the wraps together. But what I did is took one avocado, a little bit of salt, 
that little pinch of basil, which was already pre-washed, and then um, about a quarter cup of water, and I blended that up really quickly, and it was like a really thick paste. And that way it will stick to the tortilla. And I do this for sandwiches too, if I ever make homemade bread, which I can link my homemade bread recipe videos down below. And I just made a homemade bread loaf that was gluten-free, two ingredients in my last video on Thursday. I'll link that video in the comments. But I find that if I make the avocado into a paste, like I said, it doesn't slip out, and then it's a lot easier for him to eat. A lot of times too if I know he's having a really crazy busy day I will wrap these wraps in a little bit of parchment paper so they stay a little bit fresher and then you can hang on to them without everything sliding out I also decided to add some spinach what I also should have added is some smashed chickpeas but you could you can really do whatever with these you definitely have to make this avocado dressing. It's really easy and it's really delicious. I can't eat avocado. I get that question a lot. Um, why I don't eat a lot of healthy fats because I'm allergic to like all of them, but my husband can eat them. I know this is basically just like some sauce in a wrap, but again, it was just for a snack and I said some crackers along with it and he just had this on his way home from work. Super easy. He had something, like I said, he can eat really quickly and he loved it. He was like, you can make those like every day. And again, it makes me feel better to have something with him for lunch that keeps him satisfied and satiated. And then he's not running through the drive through or tempted to like stop at the gas station and get a quick snack. It's all about planning ahead and finding out what your partner likes and then just making it adaptable for them. So of course you can make this wrap any way you'd like, but he really liked it and it was delicious. So that made me happy. And again, the avocado sauce he said was a 10 out of 10. I should have added a little bit of lime or lemon to it to give it a little bit of zing. You can also give it a little bit of heat if you want to add some chili flakes to it. It's basically like a base and you can do whatever you want with it and it'll taste really, really good. I did not make these today, but I make these almost every single week besides this week <laughs> for my husband for lunch and it's an oatmeal bite I've been making them for years but recently I adapted to Kim over at the wads recipe so it's some agave or you could use maple syrup um, if they're also really good with bananas or pumpkin again I'll put the recipe down below oats chia seeds flaxseed peanut butter and chocolate chips I can't have peanut butter so usually I swap that out for almond butter he loves these and I just put them in a little energy bite I made these in a video a couple weeks ago when I was sharing a pantry haul video and I've made them so many times on my channel. So I'll make sure to type the recipe and leave it below. Of course, all you do is throw all your ingredients into a bowl, mix them together, add the chocolate chips. And then what I like to do is refrigerate them for about an hour because they're a lot easier to work with. If you ever don't eat all of them in a week, you can definitely freeze them. I've done that before and I actually have some carrot cake bites in my freezer right now. I made two weeks ago and I decided to freeze them. So that way they're so good frozen too. But when I freeze them, instead of leaving them into a little ball, I kind of like smash them a little bit. So then when you eat them, when they're like half frozen, they kind of remind me of a cookie a little bit. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I don't actually know what a real cookie tastes like anymore, but they just have a really delicious taste to them. My husband loves them. Like I said, this is the first week and I think six weeks I didn't make them because I was making a lunch video and I was like, oh, I got to share something else. But here I am sharing it anyways, because I know someone out there might find it helpful or might encourage you to try an energy bite of some kind and you can literally make it however you'd like. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a lot of ideas, not only for your lunch, but maybe your spouse's or partner's lunch as well. I always enjoy sharing new meal ideas here on my channel. Make sure you are subscribed and your notifications are turned on so you never miss a new meal idea video by me. I'll see you next Thursday in another video. Bye-bye.